All right, first up today, things are looking up. <gasps> Don't look at it yep. directly. Literally millions of us here in America will turn our eyes to the sky because the sun will completely disappear. It's been 38 years since we saw a total eclipse in our country and it is happening again on Monday. Think of it this way, Tiff. Daytime will become nighttime for just a few minutes. Crazy. Around lunchtime. Oh, that's amazing. I'm going to be an umbra file. That's oh. right. Discover Magazine calls in a mind melt and predicts the audience for the eclipse will be bigger than the Super Bowl. Joining us now to tell you what we'll see here right in Milwaukee are Derek Polachek and David Whitlock, who both work for the Planetarium. They're associates there at UWM. Great Wait, to have you guys. Wait, you guys are scientists? Uh, we're trying to be. Yeah. Really? <laughs> Pre-scientists. I like seeing yeah. young guys like interested in science. Yeah, yeah, it's fun working at the Planetarium. You know, it gives us a chance to kind of explore space. That's fantastic. Yeah. I love science and just like, I'm obsessed with this eclipse. I wanted to go to the Tetons. All the flights are out. There's no more flights in, in and out of Jackson. But this is like what people are doing. They're like flocking to the place where you can see a total eclipse. Why is it such a big deal, do you guys think? Well, it's a pretty rare event. The last total eclipse we saw in the United States was back in 1979. And the that's last eclipse born. like this that swept from the west coast all the way to the east coast was back in 1918, so nearly 100 years ago. So the big deal is that this is when you can see it in the states, right? Mm -hmm. In 79, it might have been clearer in other parts of the, the world. Yeah, um, in 79, it actually only went through a couple states in okay. the Pacific Northwest, but this eclipse is different because it goes across uh, the whole United States. So. I love what Discover Magazine said about it's not just an astronomical event, it's a human experience. Mm -hmm. I think people are wondering, okay, they see all these national stories about the eclipse, they've read some stuff about it, what's happening here in Milwaukee? So if you're not able to catch a flight, yeah. you're not going to be in South Carolina or Illinois, I know they're, they're supposed to have a, a long window, mm -hmm. um, you can't go out west. What will we see here? Well, so we're having an event at our planetarium. So on the UWM campus, we're going to have a huge event where you can come watch the eclipse, but it will be visible all throughout Milwaukee. We're getting about 86% totality here, so okay. you'll still be able to see quite a bit of the eclipse even here in Milwaukee. So pretty dark, but not the total eclipse yes. that, that people will see in other places. Okay, so it, uh, it begins at like 11.53. Mm -hmm. I know the max is at 1.18 in the afternoon, yep. and then it ends at 2.40. This is like very quick yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is. you know yeah. i mean yeah. such a big day and such so much talk for such a short little event mm -hmm. um what is the best way to view it because we've heard all these different things n not just location wise but you know physically we've heard like sunglasses you can't just wear a regular pair of sunglasses right this will still hurt your eyes yeah um yeah it could hurt your eyes and you might not actually know that it's hurting your eyes as well until the next day you won't right? feel it until the um, next day if you even feel it at all so huh. could yeah. it ca could looking at it just in one day or for a short amount of time could it cause blindness any amount we recommend just not looking at it unless you have the proper so or proper solar glasses to actually look at it or you can always build your own little shoe box you know yeah. viewer there's tutorials doing. online yeah. yeah if you can't get I think so. it's hard though especially with kids to say oh you know this unbelievable historic historic event hasn't happened in a bazillion years, but don't look at it. Yeah, <laughs> it's you tough, know? but you need to make it's sure tough, your kids are not looking yeah, at this. It could important. affect them for life otherwise. So. Yeah, that's, that's a amazing. great point. Definitely. So what, what kind of effects? I mean, this is, you know, a lot of people, you know, talk about full moons and the fact that full moons have a, a pull because of their gravitational pull on water and people and things like that. Will this have any sort of effect on people, how we feel or the earth or anything like that? Um, I'm not sure uh, if there will be any effect like that, but uh, I know that people are kind of going crazy right now for this eclipse. Like, yes, it's uh, we've seen quite a bit of like business and like people coming through and just asking about it and getting really excited about it. So, I mean, love it. Yeah. yeah, and and the fact that something like this hasn't happened since 1979, or you said 1918 mm -hmm. was the last total eclipse like this. When will, when will an event happen like this again? Because I remember I seen this news clip of Tom Brokaw in 1979 saying, mm -hmm. we won't see it again until 2017. And just hearing him say that now is kind yeah. of incredible. So when again will we see it? So we're getting pretty lucky. We're actually getting another one within seven years. So we'll get another total eclipse in the States on, er, in 2024. Mm -hmm. 2024. Okay. And, and describe um, for us again. I mean, we know it's when the, the the sun is completely blocked. But but what's happening that they line up that way, and why it's so unusual? Um, so it's the um, moon passing in front of the sun, um, and it casts a shadow on the earth. Yeah. Um, yeah. And the part that kind of makes it a little bit rare is we need a new moon for this, which only happens every now and again. And mm -hmm. 
the they need to be in perfect alignment. Usually the moon's a little off center from like the rest of the plane of our solar system, so it's hard to get them all lined up. Yeah. There's nothing <laughs> dangerous about it, is there? No, no, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> Check it. So Are you guys totally out of orbit? Is it <laughs> yeah. okay? Are you guys totally geeked out about it? I mean, what are people at the planet? You seem really calm about it because you seem well, super calm. <laughs> but um, will day. you get yeah. any, <laughs> you get any sleep the night before? Um, uh, hopefully, plenty, we'll get yeah, we're hoping, but, you know, it'll be a long day for us, but yeah. it's going to be a ton of fun, you know, seeing so many people come yeah. out and try to enjoy some science and yeah, you know, people, learn about space. People are getting excited for it. So. Do we yeah. know what the weather's going to be like? I mean, what if it's cloudy? Do we yeah. miss the whole thing? So if it's cloudy, we're still having an event regardless. Okay. Uh, we'll be streaming the event if it is cloudy, so we can see it from totality if it is cloudy, but we're hoping it's gonna be sunny. Have you made like a, a like eclipse playlist of music we yet? We do, yeah. Do you? Oh, no way. Yeah. Oh. What's on there's Bonnie Tyler's Bonnie song. Bonnie Tyler's song. Yeah. Yeah. Like for the actual few minutes. Yeah. It's because we've by heard the light. her song <laughs> oh, is Blinded there by the too. Light. Oh that's yeah. a good one. Blinded <laughs> by the light. Yeah. Any I other like good that. ones that people can like make on their playlist? Uh I think those no. are the only two. Well, those are my top <laughs> totally clips so. of the heart. Yeah. Love it. <laughs> That's great. Those you guys, awesome. thank you so much thank for being for here us. from the Planetarium. I yeah. want to share some great information because you talked about those events. The UW-Milwaukee Manfred Olson Planetarium. UWM.edu slash planetarium is where you can find out more. The Sun's Disappearing Act today and tomorrow at 7 p.m. People can catch more information about that. Solar Eclipse Viewing event that you guys mentioned is happening Monday from 11 to 3. That's basically at the corner of of um, Kenwood Boulevard and Maryland Avenue, yep, right, right on the UWM yep. campus, where yep. people are going to gather. Okay. Fantastic! There you go. Thanks, you guys. Did you know the term umbrophile? Yes, I've, okay. I've heard that, but and what does it Google. mean? Someone, yeah. it's Google. someone who like follows because yeah. the the the. The shadow yeah, is called the moon's chase, umbra. Yeah. Okay. So if you chase it and you love it, you're an umbrophile. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to show my eclipse stamps. Okay, so oh, these I didn't are. Know about these. Yeah, I got these at the post office a while ago. But what's kind of cool is if you rub it, they're they're black. <laughs> if you oh there we go. If you rub it, see then you see the Earth. Oh, that's awesome. Isn't that cool? Kind of like scratch and sniff, but you just were they more expensive? It. Uh, I don't remember. Okay. And Worth I can't it. see because I don't have my glasses. Worth it. Isn't that cool? Thanks you guys. No. Thanks you guys. <laughs> Thank you for Great us. to see you. There. Have the post <laughs> office have a stand. Yeah. Yeah.